ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here. Forgot for to the check same the reason. math on a few equations. The brain's long gone. Forgetfulness. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The Eye's straining to her limits these days. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Need something?
If it gets cold enough, your spit can freeze. Not that I know that from personal experience. All right. Know it from personal experience. Time for a quick chat. I appreciate it when you're able. Late at night in dive bars. Sometimes the old timers share stories about things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starbone before. But they're real. Honest to God, real. But you carry on for centuries of exploration, and you can fool yourself into thinking you got it all figured out. Clearly we don't. So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's gonna be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible, but they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grab drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret freestyle for Rune or UC tech, but I don't know. I mean, anything's possible. But if someone, anyone, had that much of an edge on the others, the whole balance of power would shift, right? It'd be one hell of a conspiracy to keep it quiet. An even greater amount of restraint to keep it in your back pocket. Exactly. 
I'm going to throw out another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler. But they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence, become the Starborn. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. One way or the other, we are not alone. And that's... <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying. Huh, a cave. We going in there? Of course, because that's what we are. Cave people. As long as there aren't any beasties, the cave can be an explorer's best friend.
much to see around here.
be novels about it. Sometimes, I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. It is pleasing to speak with you. I don't think we're alone. 
least had to drop a few pounds. And I don't mean a diet. Well, they don't need it.
quite stable. May the Trade Authority assist you, by all means. Anything you need to offload? Trade Authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Isolation. It's always nice to come home. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? <laughs> Chasing down this mystery is what Constellation was made for. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Console parts, replacement wires that have burned out, some fixes to the intercom between the station and the lodge. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you, too. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? You mean what could be the biggest discovery in the history of humanity? Yeah, I've got some thoughts. Scans are still inconclusive, 
but I think we've seen enough to know that we're dealing with something potentially even more unusual than the artifacts. There are so many questions beyond just who are they? How did they find you? How do they know about the artifacts? Why has no one ever seen them before? They did openly threaten you, as I understand it. I'd say that's something to worry about. It was one thing when this was just about us investigating the artifacts. Uh, a weird phenomenon that didn't come with creepy threats or questions about aliens or whatever it is that's going on now. I know we'll figure it all out in the end. It's just kind of a lot right now. Stay safe, okay? This is all exciting, but... There's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Mind helping me weld up some of these panels? Ah, uh, miss coming up here. We should visit Vlad more often. <sighs> Down in a jiff. Let me just check a few more things. Just gonna do some more spot welding. Can never be too careful. This scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. If you could help me install these parts. I think we are done. Thank you. Nice work! Didn't burn your hand off. That's a win. Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? Help Vladimir code up this system the first time. Now, how did this work again? Now that is some fine team. Lend a hand? Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. Well, I'm certain that wasn't supposed to happen. Check with Vladimir. Spend so much time looking at the scans. I can see star systems orbiting in my head. Damn it. Let's see if Vladimir can tell us what went wrong. You call her the wrong wires. Station showing red. Bed. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. 
I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Of course not. No one has. If an encounter with this level of importance had occurred in the past, I assure you that Constellation would be well acquainted with it. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. Oh, I do. More than you'll ever know. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What are they telling us? It's very disturbing. Especially with all of that cutting-edge technology at their disposal. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. No, not time travelers. I don't think the science is there to support that theory. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. I'm grateful you feel that way. And don't worry. I promise to be careful. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Truthfully, I haven't the slightest idea, but just the thought that any of the secrets of the universe could be revealed from the Starborn is terribly exciting. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think of me that way, there's a time and a place for that sort of talk. This is definitely not one of them. 
Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. Hello, Captain. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? It was awesome. Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. It's fair. We don't know much about her, but they call themselves Starborn. Doesn't sound that House Varuni to me. But it did sound a little mean, you know. She's unusual by our standards, but our standards only matter to us. I didn't detect any localized time distortion, which isn't required for that hypothesis, but... Oh, yeah? Joking. I knew that. Geez, we just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. We're going to need a way to find them again, or lure them. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech, or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. It's possible we've misinterpreted their actions or that they were under duress. We should remain cautious with them, but I think we should leave the door open to communication. Yeah, that's how they appear right now. Maybe we can use that to our advantage, though. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Never would I have imagined to encounter something like the Starborn. Now I feel that rather than having answers, we only have more questions. Yes, by any meaning of the word. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. I do not understand how seeking answers can be so dangerous. Clearly, these Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. Did they make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. I am never worried. Cautious, perhaps. It has always been necessary to prepare for the unexpected. This is just a bit more unexpected than usual. It seems to be how things go here in Constellation. Yes. Given our first interaction with them, that seems likely. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. Whether we learn more or not, I now have a difficult decision to make. I must decide whether to report this to House Baron. Before it matters what Sarah will allow, I must first decide for myself what is right. My agreement with Sarah was that I would withhold information about the artifacts until we knew more. We certainly do now. But 
To inform them of this, I must also admit that I have not reported all that I have seen to this point. Then I shall consider how to relay the information, and take it up with Sarah, when I can. I do appreciate that I can trust you with this. It is good to have someone to talk to. And I appreciate that greatly. We should return to our search then. There's still so much to do. <laughs> 